Friends, this is a totally unedited recording of a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now the anterior chamber is being filled up with 2% SPMC. The SPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now, side ports. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And this is another one on the right side of the main incision. These side ports are about 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision. The width of these side ports are 1.2 millimeter. Now, capsular axis. The anterior capsule is pierced. Capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided all around. And a continuous curvilinear capsular axis is done with the help of these uterator forceps. And this has been a very satisfactory axis of about 5.25 millimeter. Hydrodissection is done. Hydrodelineation is also attempted. And now the nucleus is mobilized. Visco is again injected in the anterior chamber. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3. The FECO needle goes into the eye with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now I am going to do direct chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. And when the cataract is of this consistency, about grade 3 nucleus sclerosis, the nucleus is held almost at the center. If we go beyond the center, there is a possibility of eating off the lens matter and touching the posterior capsule. So in such cases, we should hold at the central part. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60%. Flow rate was 45 and vacuum 450 millimeter of mercury and in this case you can see that the, all the cortex has almost come out little bit of visco is injected and now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of some cortex which is there at 5 o'clock and I'm going to polish the posterior capsule. This is hydro polish. The posterior capsule is nicely polished by the irrigating fluid. We don't have to touch the posterior capsule. We just have to move the irrigating fluid over the posterior capsule. So whatever cortex was there has been removed. A little bit of fibrous plaque is there at the central part. It is better not to do anything. And this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens and the lens goes in the capsular bag. If there is a thin fibrous plaque it is better not to do anything we can the patient will get about 6 by 9 vision 
with this plug and we can always remove this by ear glazer later on and now this is a bit of moxie then the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side always hydrate the scleral side of the side ports not the corneal side and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium can be removed by directing a stream of PSAs towards the corneal endothelium. The case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.